Hi there, this is Tony Nicole welcoming you to the red carpet. I was straightening up around my place and I found a whole piece of foam board. And I was like, oh, how exciting. Let's see what we can make. So I put together this canopy day bed and I wanted to show you how I did it. But first, I'm going to ask that you please subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. I'm scrolling some of the items that we'll need. Of course, we're gonna need our foam board. We're using the um, wooden bamboo skewers to help create the canopy and some other stuff. So I bought a new tripod for my camera and the size of the box was perfect. So it inspired me to use that as the kind of the model for our day bed. So I am going to Use a light pencil to trace out each side of the box. Then we'll carefully cut out with an X-Acto knife. So I'm going to take the two shorter sides. They're going to be on the side. The larger piece is going to be on top. And I'll carefully attach those with hot glue. Then I cut out two more of the side pieces. And those are going to be on the ends, but before we glue that on there, I'm just going to measure off a half an inch at the bottom. Because when we add those, we're going to lift it up to that line so that our day bed can stand up. And I'm also using this uh, tape roll to kind of create curved shapes for the sides. Here's our curve shape and we're going to carefully cut that out with our X-Acto knife and glue those on. Then we'll use that last piece and when we cut out all four sides of the box and put that on the bottom. I had some spacing issues but that's okay because when we put our cushion on there we're going to use our foam as a cushion. You could also use sponge but first we're going to cover it with felt. So here it is and it kind of looks like a, um, a church pew. But from here we'll use our bamboo wooden skewers and very, very carefully because it has a pointed end, we're going to push it through the foam. You have to be really, really careful because you don't want the skewer to actually penetrate through the foam and stick out. So we continue on all four ends and I'm going to cut at about 12 and a half inches. And from there we'll paint. Now you might want to remove our cushion first before you paint because we don't want to get any paint on the cushion. So I cut out some more uh, thin strips of craft foam. I am using that's foam board, foam board. <laughs> I am using a pen to create a little hole, push it through the tops of the wooden skewers, and then we'll hot glue the short pieces on the sides. And lastly, we're going to use tool to drape across the top. And here is our quick and easy canopy day bed. I made a couple of other items and I'm just using still pictures. I cut out strips of felt, glued it to an empty tape roll, and then that's how we make our quick and instant ottoman. Next, I made a little sign or a picture. I folded a piece of paper in half, cut it out into a heart shape, put it on top of a piece of foam board, lightly painted across, then I removed the heart and put the decals on to make this cute little wall art. And lastly, I'm taking markers and coloring a white t-shirt to make the pillows. And a little piece of fur for a rug. 
and the room is complete. Super cute, super quick, not that complicated. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. You're all so very awesome. You see I'm kind of acknowledging my friends that are celebrating the month of June. You guys are awesome. I love you so much. Thanks again for watching. You guys are the very, 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 very best. I love your comments. I love to hear from you. You can reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Again, your comments are the very, very best. So since this is a rainbow theme, I want you guys to put your favorite color in the comments. Let me know. And for leaving a comment on the last video, we're going to officially welcome Yvette Irwin to the red carpet. Thanks again for watching. And remember, it's more fun to make it.